Alright, hello folks. Welcome back to McNeil Mavericks Baseball. Thanks for joining us here this evening out at Hutto High School. Mavs getting ready to play game two of the two game series here against the Hutto Hippos. Mavericks took the first game back on uh, Tuesday night by a score of 11 to 8. As the Mavs first district first win in district play here so far this season. Hutto still looking for their first district win. Pretty nice night out here with pretty high temperatures earlier today, about 85 degrees. Not a whole lot of wind looking at the uh, U.S. flag out there at the 360 line right in dead center field. No movement at all, so not a lot of wind going on. Very short field, short fences out here at Hutto. 310 down the line in uh, left field, only 301 in right. And uh, as I mentioned before, 360 in center, 345 in the right center, left center gaps. So interesting field for left-handed hitters or right-handed hitters that have a little bit of opposite opposite way power. So Mavericks will play this game here tonight. This will be the last time playing Hutto as Hutto is going to move out of District 25-6A after the, this season. Maynard High School south of Austin is going to be uh, taking their place next season. Starting pitcher for the Hutto Hippos tonight, Hunter Thompson. He just completed his warm-ups and we're going to get ready to get underway here. Leading off for the Mavericks will be the center fielder Ramsey Simpson. He'll be followed by second baseman Jack Goins and the shortstop Ryan Vasek. First pitch underway, misses high and outside for ball one. Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the net. Simpson had a pretty good night on Tuesday night against Hippo, the Hutto Hippos here. No hits, but had two RBIs and two hit by pitches. Next pitch, nice backdoor slider there, but just missed a little bit outside. So two balls, one strike, the count to Simpson. Next pitch swung on, line drive. Gets just out of the reach of the diving shortstop and into left center field for a base hit. So Simpson's aboard. They lead off single to start the game here. And that brings up second baseman Jack Goins. Squares around a bunt, pulls back, pitches a called strike. Third baseman for Hutto, Paulo Torres, playing up on the grass. Start of that pitch there. Now slowly starting inches way forward towards the grass again as Thompson throws over to first to check Simpson who's back in time. Next pitch to Goins on the back door slider there but misses a little bit inside. Next pitch swung on, fly ball in the shallow right field. Right fielder takes a couple steps to his left and he makes the grab. Not going to be deep enough for Simpson to tag up in advance, so he'll stay at first. So one away now brings up number three hitter, shortstop Ryan Vosick. Vosick was one for three with a triple and RBI on uh, Tuesday night. First pitch to Vosick, ground ball fielded by the pitcher, throws the second base in time, 
And they throw over to first, and it is a 1-4-3 double play to end the inning. So Mavs get, start with the leadoff hit, but unable to bring him around. We head to the bottom of the first. Still no score. We'll be right back. All right, starting defense here for the Mavericks tonight. First base, Jackson Collins. Second base, Jack Goins. Ryan Vosick at shortstop. White Newman at third. James Morio in left field. Ramsey Simpson in center field. Brandon Morio in right field. Behind the plate, senior catcher Garrett Banks. And starting pitcher, senior left-hander Chris Windesman. So Winnesman is ready to go. He will face the top of the order here for the Hutto Hippos. Leading off will be the left fielder, number two, Chris Gatesick. Gatesick one for three against the Mavericks on uh, the game they played on Tuesday night. Lefty-lefty matchup to start. As first pitch from Winnesman misses a little bit high and inside. Next pitch, tried to check a swing. Looks like he went around. <laughs> 1 1 pitch to Gatesick. Swung on ground ball. Down the line on first base side. And it's going to get past the first baseman Collins into right field. Morio's going to throw to second. The throw is in time, and he got him trying to advance to second. Nice throw from right fielder Brandon Morio there right on the money at second base and in time to get Gadesick trying to stretch a single into a double there. It'll bring up with one out now. Second hitter shortstop Levi Fletcher. Swings at the first pitch he sees and grounds a ball foul over towards his own dugout. Next pitch, good looking pitch. Fastball misses a little bit high, I guess. One ball, one strike to Fletcher. Next pitch by him, swung out a miss, strike two. Fletcher two for four against the Mavs on Tuesday with two doubles. Next pitch, swung on ground ball, shortstop, fielded a couple steps to his left. Vosick throws over, throws a little bit high, and, but uh, first baseman Collins stays on the bag and is able to make the grab for the out. So two up, two down. 
Here in the bottom of the first, brings up center fielder Zion Hamilton. Hamilton one for four on Tuesday, exited with an injury to his ankle. Yeah, Hamilton ex exited with a, uh, trying to run out an infield ground ball on Tuesday night. Hurt his ankle and had to leave the game, but looks like he's back in and fine now as he looks at ball one. Next pitch fastball comes a little bit inside. This will be ball two. Two outs, nobody on. Next pitch kind of takes a half three-quarter swing cut and fouls it back into the net. Comes a 2-1 pitch for Windsman. This is a little bit high and outside, ball three. Threw and pitch, swung on, bounding ground ball. Be right back, be right back. All right, four, five, six hitters due up here for the Mavs. Hard of the order coming up. 0-0 zero, zero here in the top of the second. Designated hitter Caleb Crail will start it off. Actually, I apologize. It is the first baseman, Jackson Collins, starting off the inning. Crail will be the on-deck hitter. Collins looks at ball one to start the at-bat. Next pitch swung on. Deep fly ball, right fielder going back, turns his hips, it's going to get over his head. Keeps rolling out just to about the fence area in right field. Collins is going to come in and he's going to have an easy stand-up double to start off the top of the second. So leadoff double here for Collins. Brings up the designated here, Caleb Crail. Crail squares around a bunt, offers at it, doesn't hit it, and leaves it out there. So umpires calls it called strike one. No, 
Next pitch swung on, a little soft rolling ground ball to shortstop. Fielded on the run by the shortstop, throws over to first in time to get the out. On the play and the throw, Collins advances from second to third. So it'll be one out now. And the pitcher and left-handed hitting Chris Windesman will be the batter for McNeil. Swings the first pitch, ground ball to first base, fielded by the first baseman. He'll just run over and tag it, but it'll be enough for Collins to come in and score from third base. So an RBI for Windesman. Puts the Mavs on the board by a score of 1-0 here in the top of the second. And that will bring up, with two outs now, catcher Garrett Banks. First pitch to Banks, fastball called strike on the outside part of the plate. Next pitch, good breaking ball, swung on and missed, strike two. Oh and two, the count here to Banks, nobody on and two outs. Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the net. No two pitch, another breaking ball swung on and missed, strike three. So that ends the inning for the Mavs. But leadoff double for Jackson Collins comes around and scores, puts the Mavs on top by a score of one to nothing, heading here to the bottom of the second. Hutto Hippo coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, back with the bottom of the second, leading off for the Hippos. Second baseman, Garrett Bame. First pitch to Bame, misses high. Ball one. Ball 
Next pitch misses outside this time, so 2-0. and The count now. Light's starting to come on out in the outfield. Two-zero pitch swung on, fouled back out of play. Comes a two-one pitch. Breaking ball swung on, missed strike two. So Williams has been working back from a 2-0 count now to 2-2. It's a leadoff hitter, Bame. Next pitch swung on, fouled back behind the press box here. Out of play. Another 2-2 pitch coming. Swung on, popped. Foul territory, first base side. Looks like it's going to get out of play and bounce on the very top of the Mavericks dugout over on the first base side. So here comes another 2 2 pitch to Bame. Swung on a miss, strike three. Ball gets away from the catcher. But throw down to first is in time, and Bame is retired with a strikeout for the first out of the inning. It'll bring up the catcher, number six, Xander Hall. Hall contributed with two two hits and two RBIs for the Hippos on Tuesday night. And he looks at the first pitch fastball, misses, I guess, just a little bit high. One oh pitch swung on, fouled sharply back to the screen. One ball, one strike, the count to Hall. It's a very pleasant night out here. Still not a trace of wind. Next pitch, breaking ball, misses a little bit inside. So it'll be two and one, the count to Hall. First baseman Alvarez stands on deck. Next pitch, fastball, swung on and missed, strike two. Two two pitch. Swung on ground ball, third base side. Knocked down. Good play by the third baseman Newman. Throws over to first in time. Nice diving play towards the third base bag made by Wyatt Newman and a great throw over to first base. So Mavs flashing some defense here tonight. Behind their Starting pitcher Chris Windesman. And first two batters of the bottom of the second knee here are retired in sequence, and that brings up first baseman Aiden Alvarez, who looks at ball one. Alvarez looks another fastball, misses a little high and out. Be two balls, no strikes. Next 
pitch. Misses inside and low, so it'll be a 3-0 count now. And Alvarez looks at a get-me-over called strike one there. Two balls, one strike to count. And next pitch misses high for ball four. So a two-out walk for Alvarez. And that will bring up the third baseman, Aiden Pollard-Torres. Pollard Torres, one for four with a triple on Tuesday. And he swings and misses at the first pitch. Strike one. Next pitch swung on ground ball. Gets, just gets through the glove of the third baseman, Newman who is working his way to the left side towards shortstop and gets into left field for a two-out single. So it'll be runners on first and second here with two outs. Brings up right fielder and number eight hitter, Alex Velasco. First pitch, Velasco misses inside in the dirt. Got a nice all-turf infield here at Hutto. Outfield all grass. Tries to come inside again, misses a little bit in. So we'll have a 2-0 count now to Velasco. After Velasco, we've got the nine hitter, the starting pitcher for Hutto Thompson, and then back to the top of the order. Next pitch, late call, but uh, called strike. It's going to be two and one the count. Comes inside again, misses low. It's going to be three and one now. Three one the count, runners on first and second, two outs. Winsman takes a long look at the runner at second. Three one pitch, delivered, ground ball right to the shortstop. Vasek feels it, bobbles it a little bit, and can't find a handle. It's going to be safe all around. So after two quick outs to start the inning, Mavs now with two outs and bases loaded. And facing the number nine hitter and the pitcher, Hunter Thompson. So the first pitch, line drives to get past the glove of the second baseman Goins and into right field for a base hit. And that's going to allow two runs to score. So two out single with bases loaded for the nine hitter Thompson. Brings around two runs. Hutto goes on top now by a score of two to one. And on the play and ensuing throw, Velasco advances from first to third. And so we've now got runners on first and third, two outs. And we are back to the leadoff, top of the order, left fielder Chris Gadesick, who had a single back in the first inning. First pitch, breaking ball, misses a little low and out.
This pitch misses a little bit high. Woodsman throws over to first base to check the runner Thompson. He's back in time. Thompson, the runner at first. Velasco, the runner on third. Another quick step-off move there by pitcher Windsman. Thompson back safely. Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the net. It's a 2-1 pitch to Gadzik. Fastball misses high and inside. Count will go to 3-1. Next pitch swung on. Or, uh, fly ball lofted into shallow left field. That's going to get down. Not, not quite sure why the uh, left fielder James Morio didn't go all out hustle on that. Just kind of watch it drop right there on the uh, in, fair, in fair territory. Maybe lost it in the lights. Not quite sure there. In any case, the single extends the inning. And with two outs, Velasco, the runner on third, was running on the play and came home. So the score is now 3-1 to one, Hutto. And Thompson is the runner on second. And that brings up the number two hitter, shortstop Levi Fletcher. Looks at called strike one. Fletcher grounded out to short in his first at bat. Next pitch swung on, fly ball, lofted into left field again. Morio right underneath it this time, and he will make the grab, and that will end the inning. Good pitching, Chris. So the hippo strike back, a couple of hits, bring three runs around to take the lead by a score of 3-1 to one as we head to the top of the third inning. 8-9 at in the top, due up for the Mavs. We'll be right back. All right, top of the third. Brandon Morio, the right fielder, will lead it off for the Mavs here. Now chasing two runs. And first pitch to Morio. Fastball misses outside for ball one.
Next pitch, another fastball. Same spot, misses outside and low. This will be 2-0 oh the count. Morio will be followed by his brother, James Morio. 2-0 oh pitch, swung on, fouled back into the screen. Next pitch swung on, fly ball, right field side. Right fielder going over towards the line, and he's going to make the grab. And that will be a fly out for the first out of the inning. So one away brings up the left fielder, James Morio, left-handed hitter. First pitch to Morio misses a little bit outside for a ball. Next pitch swung on ground ball right up the middle. Shortstop coming over but can't get a glove on it, so it'll be a one-out single for Morio. That'll bring us back to the top of the Mavericks order here. Leadoff hitter Ramsey Simpson will step in. Reached on a single in his first at bat in the first inning. Simpson also a left-handed hitter. Swings to the first pitch, foul ball. We'll see if it's going to get out of play or stay in. Third baseman over, but he runs out of room. Simpson steps back in, 0-1 count. James Morio with the runner on first after that one-out single. Holds back on that next pitch, which misses outside and high for ball one. Next pitch, another fastball, misses a little outside again. Two and one the count to Simpson. Second baseman, number two hitter Jack Goins stands on deck. Next pitch swung on line drive. Going to get into right field. That ball got out there in a hurry. Well hit ball. And back-to-back -back singles for Morio and Simpson now. And the Mavs have runners on first and second with one out. That will bring up the second baseman, Jack Goins, who flew out to right field in his first at bat. <laughs> first pitch to Goins, misses outside. They snap throw down to first base to try to catch the runner Simpson leaning off of first. He's back in time. No pitch misses a little bit high. Count will be two balls, no strikes. Two oh pitch catches the outside corner for called strike this time. Maverick base runners being fairly conservative here, not really s stealing. Oh, comebacker, line drive, fielded, fielded by the second baseman, Bohm. Off of the pitcher's glove or leg there, tags second and throws it over to first. I guess we're going to score that one another 1-4-3 one, double play there since uh, technically the ball went off the pitcher. But in any case, 
Great defensive play by the second baseman, Garrett Bame. And that will end the inning for the Mavericks. So no runs on two hits. We head to the bottom of the third. Hippo still up by a score of 3-1. to one. We'll be right back. All right, three, four, five hitters. Heart of the order coming up here for the Hippos in the bottom of the third. Center fielder Zion Hamilton leads it off. Hamilton grounded out to short in his first appearance. And before we get the first pitch underway of the inning, what has been calls time and wants to have a conversation with his catcher, Banks. Four hits apiece. But Hippo's able to bring around two more runs, leading by a score of three to one. Going through quite the strategy there. Mavs battery contorting, contorting a significant plan here to how they're going to approach their hitter Hamilton to lead off this inning. And first pitch. Swung out of miss, strike one. Next pitch swung on, fouled off the foot or top of the plate there, one of the two. A couple other scores from around the district here. We've got Round Rock Westwood leading the Round Rock Dragons by a score of 2-1 to one in the top of the fourth. Cedar Ridge leading Stony Point by a score of 5-2 to two in the top of the fourth. And next pitch is swung on strike three. Second strikeout of the night so far for Windesman. That brings up second base with Garrett Bame, who was the other strikeout. He swings at the first pitch, drives a deep ball out into center field. Center fielder Simpson is there, and he makes the grab on the run, though. So a long fly out to center field for Bame, second out of the inning. And that will bring up the catcher, Xander Hall, who... Grounded out to third in the second. And then the other score from around the league looks like Vandegrift and Vista Ridge just got going a little while ago because it is a 0 0 score on the bottom of the first. And first pitch to Hall. 
Misses high for ball one. Next pitch swung on, gets a piece of it, and just fouls it back off the glove of Banks. Two outs, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the third, 1-1 one, one count to your hitter, Xander Hall. One-one pitch, swung on, fouled out of play. One has been working ahead with a one-two count here and two outs. One has been working on pitch number 52 of his outing tonight. And the one-two pitch. Bounces low for ball two. Some sort of variant of the Juan Soto shuffle there performed by our hitter uh, Hall on that last pitch. 2-2 two -two pitch coming up. Swung on, fouled back into the net. Two balls, two strikes. And Hall calls time. And the 2 2 pitch. Swung on, fly ball. A couple steps back is Morio out in left field, and he makes the grab, and that will end the inning. So a long at bat, but it is a 1-2-3 inning for the Mavs. No runs, no hits. We head to the top of the fourth. Heart of the order due up for the Mavericks here, leading off with Ryan Vosick when we come back. All right, Ryan Vosick, number three hitter, will lead it off for the Mavs here this inning. Vosick grounded out into a 1-4-3 double play back in his first at bat. As he looks at a called strike one, fastball on the inside corner. Looks like we have some activity in the Mavericks bullpen. 
Next pitch to Vasek misses outside low. Starting pitcher for Hutto here, Thompson, working on pitch number 35. Winnesman finished that inning at, fi at 54 pitches. We'll see if he comes back out to start the bottom of the fifth or if the Mavs go to the bullpen. Two and one, the count to Vasek. Next pitch swung on, grounded foul. Caught by the Mavs third base coach, Silver Aguirre. Next pitch, breaking ball, swung on and missed, strike three. <coughs> Second strikeout of the night for Thompson. One away, brings up the first base of Jackson Collins. Led off the second inning with a double and uh, eventually came around and scored the only run so far tonight for the Mavericks. First pitch to Collins is called strike in there on the inside part of the play. Thompson dropped down to a kind of a three-quarter slot, maybe even kind of sidearm slot there. And then comes back with a breaking ball that narrowly misses the hitter Collins for ball one. Next pitch swung on, line drive right to the third baseman. Caught for the second out. So two away here for the Mavs in the top of the fourth brings up the designated hitter Caleb Crail. Crail grounded out to shortstop in his first appearance. Swings the first pitch, ground ball to shortstop again. Slow roller fielded by the shortstop, throws over to first, and it's going to be in time, and that will retire the side. Mavs go one, two, three in the top of four. No runs, no hits. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning. Score still 3-1 Hippos. We'll be right back. All right, leading off for the Hippos here, bottom of fourth inning. First baseman Aiden Alvarez walked and scored a run in his first at bat back in the second. Swings the first pitch, fouls it out of play.
A one pitch misses outside. So it'll be one ball, one strike. Next pitch comes inside and gets a late called strike. So Wind has been working ahead on the leadoff hitter this inning with a 1-2 count. And the 1-2 pitch to Alvarez. Fastball misses low. Two and two the count. And the next pitch is a nice backdoor slider that catches the outside corner for called strike three. Third strikeout of the evening for Windesman. And one away in the bottom of the fourth brings up third baseman Aiden Pollard Torres. Singled and scored a run back in the second inning. First pitch to Pollard Torres misses high and outside. Next pitch, swung on and missed. Looks like a part said he got a foul tip. Caught by the catcher Banks. Be one on one count. Next pitch swung on line drive is going to get through the gap between short and third and into left field for a one out single. So two singles on the night for Pollard Torres. And that will bring up the number eight hitter, right fielder, Alex Velasco. Velasco reached on an error and scored the third of three runs for the Hippos tonight so far. Third baseman for the Mavs, the White Newman, up on the grass as Velasco looks at a called strike one. Seen a few bunt attempts tonight, but a lot. You know, no, no one yet to put the ball in play on either side from a bunt standpoint. And he swings the next pitch, drives a fly ball into right center field. And Simpson, the center fielder, comes over in the alley and makes the, makes the play. So Velasco flies out to center. That'll be the second out of the inning. Paulo Torres does not advance. He will remain at first. And that brings us with two outs, runner on first now brings us to the number nine hitter, pitcher Hunter Thompson, who singled and had two RBIs back in the second inning. Wiseman takes a long look at the run at first there, throws the first pitch in, bounces low. Kept in front by the catcher Banks, ball one. One no pitch. The ball misses inside. Not to potentially uh, jinx or bust open some floodgates here, but we've yet to see any stolen base attempts on either side. Base runners tonight. Watch that now. He's going to run on this pitch. Sure enough, there it is. And the pitch is swung on. Ground ball. A little chopper right to the pitcher. Wind has been. And throws over to first. Play is in time. So a little more dramatic than uh, it needed to be, but nonetheless... Winnesman gets the third out of the inning there on the ground out. No run score. One hit. Heading to the top of the fifth inning. 
six, seven, eight hitters due up for the Mavericks. We'll be right back. All right, leadoff hitter for the Mavericks here. Chris Windesman starts off, swings the first pitch, drives a fly ball deep to right field or left field. But it is caught. Good contact there by Windesman on the first pitch, but uh, just hung up there long enough for the left fielder to grab it. So one away for the Mavs here in the top of the fifth. Brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Banks swings the first pitch he sees. Pop fly. Foul territory first base side. And it is caught by the Hippos first baseman just a few steps before the edge of the Mavericks dugout. So it's two pitches, two quick outs here for the Mavs in the top of the fifth. Brings up the right fielder, Brandon Morio. Morio flew out to uh, right field, his first at bat. And he looks at a fastball in there for called strike one. Next pitch swung on, ground ball, fielded by the shortstop, deep into territory there and throws it from his back leg on the edge of the infield grass and it is in time to get Morio. And I think that might have been about a four or five pitch inning there for the Hippos as the Mavs go one, two, three. No runs, no hits. We head to the top of the sixth. Mavs still chasing two runs down by a score of three to one. We'll be right back.
All right, a couple of changes here for the Mavs defense. First off, we have a pitching change. Chris Windesman, no longer the starting pitcher. <laughs> Brandon Morio, the right fielder, has come in to pitch. Windesman stays in the game, goes out to center field. James Morio has moved from left to right, and the previous center fielder, Ramsey Simpson, is now in left field. So Brandon Morio, who pitched, actually closed the game, pitched the last two innings against Hutto in the Mavericks victory on Tuesday night. He comes in here to face the top of the hip hippo's order in the bottom of fifth inning. So leading off for the Hippos will be left fielder Chris Gatesick. Two for two, two singles tonight so far. And first pitch to Gatesick, fastball misses a little bit low for ball one. Next pitch, fastball catches the outside corner for a called strike. One ball, one strike to count to Gadesick. Next pitch, breaking ball swung on, lofted into shallow right field. That's going to get down for a leadoff single. So third single of the night for the leadoff hitter, Gadesick. And that'll bring up the number two hitter, Levi Fletcher. Fletcher 0 for 2, grounded out to short, and then flew out to left. And looks like we're having some signed communication problems here between our pitcher and catcher as Banks heads out to have a long conversation with pitcher Morio there, broken up by the field umpire. So Fletcher stands in, that has the hitter. And first pitch, lays down a bunt right down the first base line. That's a slow roller, stays fair, and it is a well-executed bunt for a single. So first, first executed small ball here tonight. And all of a sudden there's runners on first and second, nobody out for the Hippos, and the number three hitter, Zion Hamilton, comes to the plate. Hamilton 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. Swings the first pitch, ground ball in the gap at shortstop. It's going to get away from the shortstop, Vasek, who was covering second there. And that's going to be into left field for a single, and that's going to allow the runner, Gadzik, to score from second base. So just some well-placed, not in particularly strong hit, but well-placed balls by the first three hitters here for the Hippos this inning. And they've extended the lead now by a score of 4-1. to one. And the cleanup hitter Garrett Baim stands in with runners on first and second. And looks at a breaking ball that misses a little bit high for ball one. Next pitch swung on, a little line drive is going to get down into left field for a base hit. One run is going to score, and the runner is going to advance from first to third. So an RBI single for Bame. Makes the score 5-1 to one in favor of Hutto, and we got, they've got runners on first and third. Still nobody out. 
brings up the catcher, Xander Hall. First pitch to Hall is a fastball called strike in the outside corner. Next pitch swung on, fouled sharply out of play. So 0 and 2 the count to Hall. Next pitch misses outside. One ball, two strikes to count to Hall. Runner still on first and third. Nobody out. Runner goes from first. Pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. So, Bame will head back to first base. Pitch fastball, picked in the dirt by the catcher, Banks, and count will go 2-2. Runner goes from first, pitch is swung on and missed, strike three. So one out, first strike out of the night for Brandon Morio. Bame still second, so now it's runners on second and third. One out brings up the number six hitter, Aiden Alvarez, who walked and struck out looking back in the uh, fourth inning. So he's the first pitch. Ground ball gets off the glove of the shortstop, Vasek, and it's going to be safe all around. So runner from third, Hamilton scores on that play there. Bame advances from second to third. And Alvarez is safe at first, so it is now score six to one. Runners again still on first and third. One out brings up third baseman Aiden Pollard Torres. Two for two tonight with two singles. He looks at a first pitch called strike on the outside part of the plate. Next pitch, miss, pitch misses a little bit outside low. Count is one and one. Next pitch swung on and fouled. Sounds like it was fouled maybe off the mask of the uh, Mavericks catcher there, Banks. Looks like he's all right. <laughs> Relatively speaking. One two pitch in the dirt gets away from the catcher Banks. Runner's gonna go from first to second, but Bame's gonna hold up at third and doesn't advance. So two balls, two strikes, the count to the hitter.
Pollard Torres. Rivers on second and third now with one out. Next pitch swung on, fouled back into the screen, out of play. Two two pitch. Swung on, a little chop ground ball fielded by the first baseman Collins. He's going to tag the runner in the baseline for the out. And the runners do not advance as that play was made over towards the uh, about three quarters of the way up the first base line. So runners freeze on second and third. It's an unassisted put out by the first baseman Collins. Two outs now. And that brings up the right fielder. Alex Velasco, safe on an error, then flew out. And he looks at called strike one. <laughs> oh, one pitch looked pretty good here. Must have missed a little bit low. So one to one the count to Velasco. Bohm still the runner on third. Alvarez the runner on second. Two outs. Next pitch breaking ball in there for called strike. <laughs> Comes the one two pitch. Fastball just got a piece of it. Chopped it softly back to the screen. One two pitch. Just misses a little bit outside there. Two and two the count. Next pitch in there called strike three on the outside corner. Come on, Mavs, let's go. Two strikeouts for Morio this inning, but the hippos tack on three more runs. We head to the top of the sixth inning. Hutto in control by a score of six to one. We'll be right back. All right, it's nine, then back to the top of the Mavericks order. Here in the top of the six, left fielder James Morio leads it off. And Morio one for one tonight with a single back in the third inning. And he looks at ball one on the outside corner. Or ball one misses outside, I should say. Another pitch, another ball misses outside. So Morio with a hitter's count here at 2-0 to start off the sixth. And three straight balls that miss outside. Mavs looking for an offensive rally this inning. And next pitch is in there for a get me over strike. Two 
3-1 pitch. Swung on a miss, strike two. So pitcher Thompson comes all the way back from 3-0, makes a full count now to the leadoff hitter, Morio. And next pitch swung on, just fouls, gets a piece of it, fouls it back to the screen, stays alive. Three two pitch. Swung on. Fly ball lofted, but it's gonna get foul over towards the left field side. We've got a cloud of smoke lingering out in the left field area there. Another three two pitch coming up to Morio. Swung on a miss, strike three. So one away for the Mavs here in the top of the six. Brings us back to the top of the order. Center fielder Ramsey Simpson coming up. Simpson two for two. Two singles tonight. Checks the swing on that last pitch and holds off. Ball one. So he's the next pitch, lofts it foul out of play into the Hutto Hippo side of the bleachers over here on the left. One one pitch to Simpson, hard ground ball hit right at the second baseman, Bame, and he throws it over the first. And Simpson is retired for the second out of the inning. Mavs making some contact here tonight, just unable to kind of string it all together. Currently stuck at one run. Two outs here in the top of the sixth. Brings up the number two hitter, Goins. Flew out and grounded out into a double play. As he looks at called strike one. Pitcher Thompson primarily comes over with a normal overhand delivery, but every once in a while will drop down to that sidearm delivery just to mix things up. Next pitch misses a little bit high for ball one. Next pitch hard slider misses outside low. Two and one the count to Goins. Nobody on, two out. Next pitch swung on, line drive is going to get into the glove of the shortstop. And the Mavs once again go one, two, three. No runs, no hits. Head into the bottom of the sixth inning. Mavs still down by a score of six to one. We'll be right back.
Leading off for Hutto here in the bottom of sixth. Number nine here, Thompson. Swings the first pitch and fouls it off. Strike one. Thompson still the starting pitcher for the Hippos, working pretty effectively tonight. And he is uh, one for two at the plate. Had a single and then grounded out to the pitcher in his last at bat. Update on some scores around the district. Westwood still ahead of Round Rock by a score of five to two in the bottom of the fifth. Cedar Ridge leading Stony Point by a score of seven to two in the bottom of the sixth, and Vista Ridge up by a score of four to one over Vandegrift in the bottom of the third. Next pitch swung on, grounded to second base, bobbled by the second baseman Goins. And Thompson will be aboard with a leadoff error. So after starting off the game with some strong gloves and defense, the Mavs kind of having one of those sets of innings here where the, the errors start creeping in. Back to the top of the order here, Chris Gatesick. Stands in at the plate as Morio throws over to first to check the runner, Thompson, who's back safely. And first pitch to Gatesick is swung on and missed for strike one. Gatesick with a hot bat tonight. Three for three, three singles, scored a run back in the fifth. Next pitch, fastball bounces, gets away from the catcher, so that will allow Thompson to advance easily to second base. It was a 1-1 pitch. Breaking ball swung on, a little slow rolling first, or a ground ball first base, fielded by Collins, takes a couple of steps and tags first base. So Gadesick will ground out unassisted play by first baseman Collins. That does allow Thompson to advance easily from second to third. So runner on third now with one out. Brings up the shortstop, Levi Fletcher. Fletcher one for three tonight, had a single and scored a run in the fifth, and then a ground out and a fly out. First pitch breaking ball in there for called strike. Next pitch, fastball swung on, lofted into center field. Center fielder Windesman is over a couple of steps. He makes the grab. It is going to be deep enough for Thompson to tag up and score from third. So an RBI sack fly for Fletcher. Second out of the inning, but makes the score seven to one now in favor of Hutto. Now with nobody on and two outs, brings up the center fielder Zion Hamilton. Hamilton one for three with a single. Swings the first pitch, ground ball to third, fielded by the third baseman Newman, throws over to first in time, and that will end the inning. So Ground balls and fly balls, but the leadoff error comes all the way around to score. Mavs coming up for their last bats here in the top of the seventh inning. Trailing by a score of 7-1. to one. We'll be right back.
All right. Last at-bats for the Mavs here. Hoping to string together a long running succession of offense. Leading off will be Ryan Vosick. He swings the first pitch. Hard ground ball fielded by the shortstop over towards the bag. And it is one pitch, one pick, quick ground out. Now we'll leave it up to number four hitter Jackson Collins to try to keep the inning rolling here. Collins one for two. And a double and represents the only run scored by the Mavericks here tonight. First pitch to Collins, breaking ball swung on, fouled out of play off the top of the uh, protective screen. Oh, one pitch comes in tight. Just misses the jersey of Collins there. So it'll be a one ball, one strike count. One one pitch swung on, fly ball lofted into right center field. Right center fielder and right fielder are both over. They softly collide with each other, but the right fielder appears to have held on to the ball. And so it is two away here in the top of the seventh, and the Mavs are down to their last out. And it will be upon Caleb Crail, the designated hitter. Over two tonight, grounded out both times to the shortstop to try to keep the Mavs in this game. First pitch is a sidearm fastball in there for called strike. Next pitch, good breaking ball in there, called strike two. Comes the 0-2 pitch to Crail. Swung on, ground ball, fair ball, knocked down by the third baseman, and then Crail thought it was uh, a foul ball, so he stopped running about halfway through there, then picked it up again. Fortunately, the throw was offline. So I guess they're going to probably score that a single for Crail. That ball did not look fair, and I think everybody, th including the defense, thought it was not fair, but umpire signaled with his arm into fair territory that it was indeed fair, so Crail is on at first with two outs. Brings up Chris Windesman. Windesman 0 for 2 tonight with a ground out and a fly out. Swings the first pitch, ground ball, and that one is going to hopefully be called foul. <laughs> it was called foul. Just to the right side of the uh, first base bag. So Crail will head back to first. Wyndham is will head back to the plate with a 0-1 count. Oh, one pitch to Windesman. Swung on, line drive. Gets over the head of the shortstop and into the gap in left center field for a single. Crail's going to make it into third and stand up, and Windesman's going to make it into second. So the Mavs show a little spark of life here. Two out double by Windesman. And we've got runners on second and third now. Two outs brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. Banks looking for his first hit of the night. Had a strikeout and a flyout. Swing is the first pitch. Line drive is going to get down in left field for a base hit. Crail is going to score. Windesman is going to come around and score from second. 
And Banks is going to trade places with him with a two-out, two-RBI double. So the Mavs narrow the gap. Scores now 7-3. to three. And we're going to see that may be the end of the outing tonight for the starting pitcher, Thompson. We'll see what happens here. Thompson, let's see. Thompson's been very efficient. 70 pitches through seven innings are into the seventh inning here. Looks like they are going to stay with him. So Thompson remains the pitcher. Two outs, banks the runner on second now after that two RBI, du RBI double, and that brings up the current relief pitcher, Brandon Morio. Morio also looking for his first hit of the night. Swings the first pitch, breaking ball, misses strike one. Next pitch, another breaking ball, misses outside. One one pitch. Fastball called strike on the outside corner. Comes the one two pitch. Swung on, fly ball, and it's going to be caught in a diving catch by the left fielder to end the game. Man, it looked like that was going to drop, but hats off to the left fielder for hustling on that, not giving up on it, and makes a diving grab to end the game. So the Mavs split the series one apiece here with the Hutto Hippos. Final score, Hutto 7, Mavericks 3. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us tonight. The Mavs start their two-game series against the Vandegrift Vipers next week. Join us again Tuesday, March 29th, 730 as the Mavs host the Vipers at McNeil. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good evening. <laughs>